Hello everybody, this is the Noble Artist here and today in this tutorial Tuesday I'm going to be showing you all how to put on the belt. This is the belt that I use for the majority of my figures. Granted this technique can be uh, personalized, whatever you guys find, whatever materials you have, you can uh, use all sorts of different things for this. Um, so right here, this is my Stormtrooper that I had that I've made and this is actually on eBay I'll put a link to that in my description um, down below if you want to go check that out um, but basically these right here these belt pieces I'm going to show you guys how to do that and then the same pieces for these um, you can use for the bandolier um, you can use it for the pieces on the arm that's what I use right here so you can use a lot of stuff or a lot of different um, pieces with this material um, and this technique and I'm going to go ahead and get to show you that now I have my camera kind of where I want it. I, it's not really the best location, but it's on my tripod and I'm just trying to get over the figure so you can see um, how I do this and I'll be able to show you guys really close. Um, so what you're gonna need is a figure. It doesn't have to be Star Wars. It can be any other figure that you want. I'm just using Star Wars figures because about 98% of the actual Lego figures I have are Star Wars, so I might as well go with that. Um, and one thing, I will make another tutorial on how to make these arms move smoothly because they're kind of hard to move when they first come out of the pack. And I'll show you guys how to make these move and then how to sand all around these um, to make the paint around the arms stay on there. So you're going to need a figure of some description. You're going to need some glue. I use super glue. Now this glue I got back home. I don't know where I found it. We just had like glue laying around. So it's brand new and I opened it up. But I normally get glue, um, I try to get the liquid glue just because it's easier for me to use. It's a little bit trickier, especially in this tube because it's kind of hard to, to manage. Uh, but once you get used to it, it's really nice. I also get glue at the dollar store, believe it or not. It has a dollar and you get two tubes of this kind of glue. Um, and it actually goes a long way if you know how to use it. And it's super glue, so um, it does have really good quality on it. Uh, especially for these little figures you don't need a whole lot but it does get the job done um, and then you're going to need I recommend some kind of exacto knife and then I have tweezer bees if you don't know what those are they're reverse tweezers and then scissors if you need them so the material we'll be using for today this here is some kind of like I don't really know if there's any important information on it probably not it's like a credit card but it's not a, this isn't a credit card uh, it's some weird membership thingy, uh, but that card material, this is like the same. It's like some kind of insurance card thing, but uh, it's super thin material, as you can see. Um, really nice. And um, this right here, I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's like a plastic material. My dad gave me this. He was using it for something. Yeah, I had a really big sheet of it and just cut off the sliver. Um, so you need some kind of plastic, some kind of thin plastic. Um, you could probably use paper if you layer it up, but it's going to be harder to cut because I don't know how to tell you how to cut it because I don't. Um, so basically what you're going to do, um, take your material and then cut off a sliver. So I might not be able to get this on camera, but you're going to cut off a sliver of the plastic. And you can go all the way across. I'm kind of making this, oh, I kind of did that weird way, but... Um, so let's see, that's good enough for you. Uh, that would be good for this guy. So you kind of want to make sure that it's going to fit the figure like so. Um, and then once you get your piece, actually I might, no, I was going to make it a little bit bigger, but I, I, yeah, that would work. Okay, so take your piece that you just cut. Again, it's going to be really flimsy and, and whatnot. And then this is where you're going to cut the size that you want. So you usually get like four pieces, four or five pieces. Um, on a belt so and then you can also look at the printing on the figure and you can see the spaces between them you can see how big each piece needs to be so if you want to go off of that you can because they have six on theirs but I might do five because I'm going to put on um, one of these pieces for a grenade so take your exacto knife and then put it right where you want it and then just push down and then it just cut so you can see right there I just cut that piece off and then it cuts super easy. Just put a little bit of pressure and then make sure you put your finger over the piece that you're cutting as well. So I put your hand on top of the exacto knife and just push down. That way your piece doesn't go flying all over creation and then you're going to lose it. 
The other side I don't really care too much about because I know I'm not going to lose it because it's a big piece. So it can go. It can go anywhere. Okay, so I'm hoping I can get this done before my camera dies. So I might just show you guys a couple pieces and then um, whatnot. Because if my camera does die, you'll never see this video because trying to edit videos together is like the worst. So grab one of your pieces with your tweezer bees, like so. And then you're going to apply a little bit of glue, just a little bit. It's probably not going to focus on that, but trust me, I am putting a very small amount of glue. I've never used this type of glue. This is a new type of bottle, so... Okay, so put a little bit of glue. You won't be able to see it because it's kind of blurry, but there's some glue on there. And then you start from one side, and then you just line it up. And then drop it. And the good thing if the liquid glue is, it doesn't dry right away, so you can push it. You can push it down. You can kind of angle it to where you want it. And then you push it. And then that piece is solid. That is on there. I can probably, well, it can support the whole figure just holding that one piece. So um, that is how you put that on. And then you just follow this process down the line and take the next piece. Put some glue on it. And then you can space it a little bit farther. Like so. Drop it on. And then make sure that it's even. Now if you do mess up and you get it on crooked or whatnot, um, the way to get them off, because I have put them on crooked and stuff has gone wrong, to get them off you just take your X-Acto knife and then just carefully scrape it off and then just start over. So once you get all of that put on the figure, what I normally do is take a paintbrush. This is not the kind I would use because it's big, um, but I'll take black paint and go over the whole thing first. So paint over the whole thing, black paint, and then so you get it in between um, in between the pieces. And then once it's painted black, I will paint the bottom half white, and then I'll put the little silver dot in the middle. Now you can use any color you want. I don't you don't have to use black and white. Uh, for these, I might make them a different color because I'm not going to use white on this shadow trooper. So it can be any color you want, but there's two of them right there. And then I'm going to show you how to put this little piece on. This is like a dog tag chain. Like if you had like a G.I. Joe or something that had a dog tag, um, this chain would be on that. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut one of these off. These are a little bit tricky, but kind of fun to put on when you do get it on. It's actually magnetic to the tweezer bee, which is not... It's no bueno. <sighs> Come on. It's hard to grab this little, little booger. Okay, here we go. So we got the piece, and then I'm going to put the glue on the figure first. And it's going to go right into this corner. Boop. And then it just fell off, but it's okay. So then we put that on like so. And then you have a grenade, our little thermal detonator. This can be painted up, paint it black, put a little white, or put a little red dot on it for the end. And then just put two more of those little pouches on in, in between that space and then your figure's good to go. Now you might see a little bit of paint and that's also what our glue shiny. That's also why I put the black paint down first um, before I use other colors so it gets rid of that shine. So that's how you put the belt on guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, hit like it. Um, if this video wasn't very clear, I will try to get it from a different angle um, and then show you guys a different way to do it. But yes, use get some materials, get some of this stuff right here. Um, cut it up in some strips, use your X-Acto knife to cut it up into little itty bitty pieces and then glue them on your figure like so. And then the finished product should look something like that. Very awesome. So you can also use this material for pieces on the arm that I use and then pieces on the side of the arm and then right there on the wrist. These pieces work really well for that as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you learned something, let me know. Let me know how this goes if you try it yourself. Don't forget that if you're the first person to leave a comment on my video, you'll get a shout out that will go right up in here. If you push the subscribe button, it'll help me out a whole lot and you can check out all my all other awesome videos. Stay tuned for more. Um, I will put a link in the description for my Instagram and my eBay and all that cool stuff. Um, there's also, if you go to my channel, there's more how to's and tutorials. I will put a link to those right here. So click that and it'll take you to the other ones that I made. And if you want to see something else, let me know on this video, leave a comment, and I will try to make that on next Tuesday. Alrighty, so God bless. You guys take care, and I'll see you later. Bye.